Hey yo, what's up guys? We're here with another video. So today we will talk about what's happening with Bitcoin right now, what's next for Bitcoin, and then what happened with uh, Cardano with ADA uh, yesterday after getting listed to Coinbase Pro. And I will also give you guys tips on how you can uh, protect your profits, how you can stop yourself from losing your winning trades. Okay, so Stay put lang kayo. We'll get into the video after this intro. Okay, so um, I have a Facebook group that I'm managing. So, doon ako nagpo-post usually ng mga updates with regards to uh, market updates with the coins that I'm recommending. So, if you guys want to join in, um, the link is down below. Uh, just click on it. And then, I'm thinking of making or creating a Discord channel. Kasi medyo OC ako sa messages, notifications. Kaya hindi ako gumagawa ng group chat or telegram group. So, I will also, guys, keep you updated on that. But if you want to join in sa group, I have a little below 200 people there uh, that are helping each other. Mostly uh, newbies that are starting out um, sa crypto space. So if you guys want to join in, just click it down below. Okay? So doon sa group, sinabi ko sa mga members that um, in here we are forming a double bottom pattern or a W pattern. And the technical target for this type of pattern is from uh, this area to the bottom. And then you put it here. So we almost hit our target. But sinabi ko rin sa kanila na at this area, around 59,800, there is a resistance. Paano natin alaman yung resistance if you guys open the VPVR? So this area here is actually uh weak resistance but this line here the 59 uh 900 59800 um makikita natin that we actually have some resistance here okay so now what's next to bitcoin let's hide the vpbr for now so i'm looking at the 4 hour chart if you look at daily uh we are still in the bullish trend um you can confirm this by opening your ema ribbon so we are still on the uptrend, as you guys can see. Okay. So the so four-hour chart, um, I think there is something forming. Uh, I'm not sure if this will play out, but if it will play out, uh, it's going to be a big for Bitcoin. So here we can draw like a symmetrical triangle, <laughs> something like this here. Okay, so you see this, the price go up, we get support, we got supported on this 54,000 uh, level, we went up, and then so there is a chance for Bitcoin to go back this level, the 57,300 level, and then break past that, and then we see a bounce here, and then we go up again, hitting this area again around 59,900 and then we bounce back here and then we continue to go upward okay so that's what i'm expecting for bitcoin we have a very very good volume support here as you guys can see and we are not on the oversold level as well it's adding our stochastic rsi so i'm using my rsi a bit a bit differently but later on i will explain it this why i use rsi this way okay so that's for Bitcoin. So pag-usapan naman natin what happened to ADA. Anong nangyari kay ADA? Why it dumped? Okay? So if you guys follow this uh, Twitter handle sa uh, Twitter, uh, the Twitter is Whale Trades. Okay? So before uh, yung official listing ng ADA sa Coinbase Pro, you see guys the price of ADA um skyrocketed from this uh, level here around one one point ten dollars to this part here okay 
So sabi ko dun sa group, if we are expecting the same pump that happened um, with Matic, Sushi, and SKL, we should be expecting around 50 to 60% pump. So the target would be around $1.77 if that is uh, going to play out. However, meron tayong malalaking kalaban, unfortunately. So we have whales here shorting ADA sa Binance and FTX. You guys see this? And um, also, sa balita ko, napakaraming na liquidate na long. So, what happened? This is just a speculation. Um, I'm not saying that this is actually what happened. But according to the rumors, a lot of Cardano tokens from Binance and FTX uh, exchanges were transferred to Coinbase Pro beforehand. And then right after being listed in Coinbase Pro, they drop the bomb. They sell their uh, Cardano, their ADA, and what happened? A lot of longers got liquidated. Okay, but am I worried? I'm not. I'm still holding most of my ADA. I have uh, some in Euroi that I'm mistaking that I'm planning to hold long term. And I have some sa Binance and I have some on other exchanges as well. So I'm not really worried. Why? Because uh, ADA's been playing in this area for quite a while now. And we see a pump like uh, from here to here. That's around 32% pump. Okay. And then after the dump from he this area to this area. So that's 20% dump. So we're... Basically, we're still 10% up, up sa ADA right now. So I'm not really worried. And there is actually a lot of things that will happen in ADA from here on moving forward. Just follow um, IOHK uh, Hong Kong. Sa, I mean, Input Output Hong Kong. So Twitter, follow Charles Hoskinson. So ADA is the biggest part of my portfolio, even bigger than Bitcoin and Ethereum. Okay, So I'm not really worried. I'm going to hold ADA. Uh, for a long-term profit. Kaya, if you guys are worried about your ADA, um, here's what you need to do. Whenever you guys see pumps like this, you need to protect your profits. Okay, You need to stop yourself from losing your winning trades. So how do you do that? If you are on futures, Binance futures, Qcoin futures, or any leverage trading platform, you always do a stop limit or an OCO okay, or a trailing stop so you guys can protect your profit. So how do you do a stop limit? You can also do it on your uh, Binance Spot wallet. Okay, so how do you do that? Let's, let's explain that here. Okay, so we see the ADA pump from this point to this point. Now, if you are worried about getting wrecked because of the you're not sure if there will be like um upcoming dump what you can do is put a stop limit sell order so how do you do that i've already explained this in my previous binance video but here's uh, how it works again okay so stop limit order is like a trigger limit order okay this stop price here is your trigger price so let's say you see this price of ADA moving up from here to here, and then nagwoori ka na bakat bumaba. You see this point here, okay? Ito. You can set this point, this price here, as your trigger price, okay? Or even higher. Let's say one point forty-two. So you put here one point forty-two dollars. Kapag nahit ni ADA itong price na to, yung ilalagay mong limit order price here, that's when it will kick in. Okay? So, let's say nahit ni ADA yung 1.42 and then ang gusto mong mangyari is kapag nahit ni ADA yung 1.42, magsasell ka sa 1.41 and then you put how much ADA you wanna sell. That's how you do it. Okay? That way, hindi ka may iwan sa taas and you're not buying high you're not selling low okay that's how you protect your profit okay 
again, make sure to utilize what's in front of you. Use stop limit to protect your profits. Okay. And then later on, once we're uh, discussing or once we're tackling the Binance futures, I will give you guys tips on how you can also protect your winning trades. Okay. So use stop limit. Stop limit is a trigger limit order. Okay. You put a trigger price. Kapag nahit yung trigger price, that's when your limit oil order will be placed sa order book. Okay? So that's how you protect your profits. Okay? So I hope you guys uh, do that religiously on every trade. So sayang kasi, sayang yung gains nyo kapag hindi nyo pinotektahan yan. And always, always take profits when you can. Regardless kung mataas man yan o mababa, profit is profit, gain is gain. Okay? All right. So you guys have to control your emotion. Don't get too attached on the coins that you're holding if it's not going to be long term. Okay? Just make sure you do this regularly on every trades that you guys are doing. All right? So let's see the market today. Um, I'll give you guys some coins that I think will go up in the next few months and the next few years. Um. As you guys can see, Binance Coin is back to top three because of the market cap. Um, yesterday, I think Cardano market cap was around $45 billion and then Binance was around 40 So after the dump, it went down. But again, I'm not really worried because we're, like I said, we're still up 10% basically from the pump. Okay, so Polkadot, XRP. Uh, XRP is pretty stable in spite this despite of the current lawsuit that they have with SEC in the US. So Litecoin and Chainlink. Um uh Terra is actually Luna. I've I've been telling my uh mga members a group na they have to buy Luna whenever they have the chance because Luna is really pumping. There's a lot of hype behind it, a lot of partnerships. So, napaganda na future ng Luna. If you guys have the chance, chance kapag nakita nyong nag-dip, you go buy Luna and then do dollar cost averaging on the way up. Okay? And make sure to take profits along the way. Okay? Do not, do not shy away from taking profits. Okay? So, I think what's gonna happen in the following months, you guys will see the following coins pumping really, really hard. Okay? So, I think Ethereum will definitely pump a lot why because they are on their way solving up solving the gas fees uh, issues that they are experiencing by july um or i'm not sure if vitalik buterin will um release it earlier than july pero sabi nila yung eip uh or ethereum improvement plan 1559 will be released around july okay earlier or later than july um so what's gonna happen is from proof of work it will switch to proof of stake uh which will hopefully solve the skyrocketing gas fees of the ethereum network okay so that's one and then number two is definitely binance coin yung mga starters na ayo ng ethereum Gas fees, they are usually building sa Binance Smart Chain. And a lot of Ethereum-based projects are switching to Binance Smart Chain blockchain. Okay? To lessen the gas fees. All right? Definitely Cardano. Um, I'm seeing Cardano around $8 to $12 by the end of the year. Okay? Napakarami nilang ongoing projects. The Africa conference is just around the corner. And then the Guguen mainnet is just around the corner as well. A lot of partnerships. Sabi ni uh, Charles Hoskinson, yung founder nila, uh, there are around 100 projects from Ethereum network planning to switch to Cardano network. They are now minting NFTs. Um, they just released the multi-asset wallet sa kanilang Daedalus De testnet, if I'm not mistaken. Testnet or mainnet, you guys can just follow their website. Okay? Next is Polkadot. Polkadot is definitely um, 
an eye catcher right now. A lot of projects is launching in their Polka Starter project. Okay? So, kaya sabi ko dun sa mga member ng aking Facebook group, they have to watch out those ICOs sa Polka Starter because they are definitely promising projects. For example, Odds Finance, napakagandang project. Uh, number two is the Tidal Finance, if I'm not mistaken, and the Convergence. I also um, looking at Shift Network kasi mukhang maganda rin yung project. So, you guys check them out. Check them out. Uh, follow them on Twitter. Um, go to their website. Read their white paper para makita nyo kung maganda ba yung project, maganda ba yung future. So, kapag nag-invest kayo, wala kayo, walang hard feelings. Okay? Nag-invest kayo because you guys do your research. Okay? So, I think Uniswap and uh, Litecoin and Chainlink will definitely do good in this whole bull run. Okay? Uniswap is about to release their Uniswap version 3. That will also solve the Ethereum gas fees issues. And kung mapapansin you guys, most of the coins that are pumping right now, they get listed first in Uniswap. The only problem is masyadong mataas yung gas fees sa Uniswap because of the Ethereum network. Kaya sobrang bihira lang ng mga nakakakuha doon. Okay? Either you wait for another exchange or exchanges to list that coin. Let's say yung bago, yung Lina, uh, beforehand, nasa Uniswap na yan. Yung SRK, nasa Uniswap na rin yan before. And then, masyadong mataas yung gas ng Ethereum eh. Kaya, what you do is, ihintay ka na malis ito sa Qcoin, Gate.io, Bitmark, Bitmex, or Bitru para magkaroon ka ng access kasi you can buy using your USDT. Okay? So, Litecoin, katatapos lang ng Mimble, Wimble update. Uh, that means they can now handle both public and pri- private transaction, which make it, you know, which makes it great because most of the exchanges they already delisted some of the privacy coins. Okay, Chainlink is the first Oracle-based uh, token within the Ethereum network, so napaka safe ng mga transaction within Chainlink, and I'm really seeing a very very good future sa Chainlink. Okay. Um, let's see. Ada is actually up again. Let's see from the bottom of the drop here. We're st- we're up again and with another ten percent, diba? So I'm not really worried about Cardano. Um, if you guys are really worried, you can get out. Make sure kung may profit ka na, get out. Look for another coin. But if you're looking for a very good long term project, you can never go wrong with Cardano, okay? So that's it for this video. Salamat ulit sa mga nanonood. Again, if you want to um, join my Facebook group, just uh, click the link down below. And I, I just want to make this clear, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, whatever I communicated in this video is not a financial advice. Make sure you always do your own research. You buy at your own risk. You trade at your own risk. Okay? So hopefully by the following videos makapaturo ako na kayo kung paano yung basic technical analysis um how you guys can start Binance futures okay how to start leverage trading lahat yan pag-uusapan natin just make sure to subscribe you like the video dislike it if you don't like it and then you comment down below if you have questions i always reply to comments okay so yon i hope you guys have a great day uh, do not stress yourself too much about crypto. I know crypto is hard, but it should not stress you out. Crypto is not all there is. Make sure you still enjoy your life. Okay? Thank you again and have a great one.